A little yeah. close there, and we've got snow across the northeast right now, you guys, from Raton down to Las Vegas up into the northern mountains. It's a little tricky, and even as far south or getting close to Roswell, we're getting reports from Midway that they're getting a little bit of snow as well, and you can see this winter storm warning and winter weather advisory, the area shaded in purple too, verifying fairly well with this storm, and we'll talk about what we like with this storm and what we don't as it continues to work its way on through. We do have some expanding snow now over portions of the northern mountains at this point, just to the south of Taos. We're filling in some of these snow showers for the southern Sangre de Cristo Mountains in northern New Mexico from Las Vegas back toward the Tucumcari area. We are picking up some steadier snows here, a little quieter down in east central sections, but across the southeast, scattered snow showers here will continue throughout the night as well. Now in the Albuquerque area, we're a little bit too far to the west with this particular storm to get much going here. Some occasionally gusty winds will be a factor. Temperatures are coming down though. 37 degrees here in the city up to the north. Temperatures for the most part in the 20s where the real cold air resides across the northeast and into the northern mountains. That's where the best snow accumulations are going to be. We're at 28 in Rudoso. So what we've got is this storm system sliding its way through along with that cold air banked up against the mountains. So the combination of both of these helping to really create the possibility of snow overnight and earlier this afternoon got a few snow showers going here along the Pacific front as it pushed its way on in. And as this weather disturbance slides across the east throughout the night tonight, we'll get the lift from that along with the moisture behind the front. And that's why we sort of have a bullseye right over the east slopes of the northern mountains and then in the east central sections for the best chance to get accumulating snow. And even you guys in the southeast get some snow showers going. But with temperatures in the 30s, it's going to be tough to get a whole lot of accumulating snow rolling across the area here. But here's part of the issue with this particular storm. And it is storm speed. This thing's going to race across the northeast quadrant of the state. So the track isn't great, but if the track was a little bit slower, we'd be looking at the possibility of over a foot of snow in the northern mountains. However, this storm is going to cruise 450 miles in around 12 hours at a little over 30 miles an hour here across the northeastern portion of the state. So it's that pacing that doesn't allow for the storm to sit over any one particular area, even the east slopes, long enough to lead to a big time snow accumulation deal. So we're going to get some areas. I think they're going to get eight plus inches of snow out of this particular storm, but it's going to be limited areas here. So here's what we're thinking as far as the snow amounts go. Three to six inches up around the Raton area. Red River five to ten. Angel Fire, given that they're close to the east slope, they have the best chance at a real high elevation to do pretty well for snow. Around Las Vegas, they've already gotten a couple inches, so anything else is gravy for them. Los Alamos, a little far to the west to see a whole lot. Sandia Crest too. One to three inches around the Klein's Corners area. And if you get a Across the southeast, we're looking at the possibility here of a few inches of snow during the overnight hours, maybe pushing the higher end of this around Tucumcari. If we can keep the snow going and get temperatures down a little bit, it's tough to accumulate a lot of snow though in these areas when the temperatures are pretty marginal. So let's go region by region across the area. Southern Colorado, clear skies, cool temperatures as those skies clear. We will see a cold start to the day tomorrow morning, but still a nice one. And then as you head across the northwest, we're already starting to see skies clear here. And tomorrow looks like a sunny day, cool temperatures, and then warming into the 60s by Thursday and Friday across the southwest. Clearing skies with some afternoon sunshine as well. Temperatures here in the 50s and 60s over to the southeast. Cloudy in the morning with, again, a few snow showers during the overnight hours here, but I do think we're going to clear out as a state fairly quickly here during the day tomorrow. Northeast, snow overnight, and then scattered snow showers very early in the day. And then watch Saturday and Sunday. We're now getting new model information in that says it could be interesting over the weekend and even more interesting into next week where it does look good for a series of weather disturbances to head into the southwest, which would be nice. Would really help our snowpack on the whole here. Morning snow showers will be possible across the northern mountains. And then by the afternoon, you'll see plenty of sunshine. 43 in Edgewood, 42 in Cedar Crest, and 47 in Harris. Sun and clouds. Again, if we get any snow at all in the Sandias, I'd be thrilled, but it's going to be hard to get a whole lot going. Metro area, mostly sunny skies. Any clouds we see will be gone pretty early in the day. Cooler temperatures in many areas. And then the seven day forecast here in the city, we're going to warm all the way to 68 by Thursday. But then the temperature starts to come down over the weekend, and we'll watch for that possibility of another system to come through. If you want to talk on Twitter, send any pictures. We'll do that at KRQB Mark. All right. Thank you, Mark.